Hello everybody and welcome to your 12th uh, Lego 5 platformer tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to continue what we started last tutorial and hopefully we can we can get um, farther or even finish it uh, from when we started so uh, what we got to do is when we get the line first of all we have to de determine if the line or or if if it is an attribute or if it's a content so what we're going to do uh, is we're gonna say that if um, line dot find and uh, we're gonna find uh, look for load equals not equals uh, std string and position so if they found it uh, then type is equal to load type uh, attribute uh, yeah attributes else uh, type is equal to load type contents now uh, I should put the braces around it because there's still more that I got to do uh, so I just put the braces around there quickly and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that for our for our temp contents and our temp attributes yeah we added that uh, we're gonna say temp attributes uh, dot clear and uh, we're going to do the same thing for temp contents dot clear okay so one last thing we have to do here is that we have to remove the load equals okay uh, so how we're gonna do this we're gonna say line is equal to line dot uh, erase and we're gonna erase from zero and we're gonna erase from line dot find and we're going to locate like the equal sign plus one okay uh, so we're gonna erase um, the uh, the equal sign and then we're gonna clear all that so once we once we do all that then it's time to separate all the everything by um to separate everything but when we separate it what we're gonna do is we're gonna store it into a line array uh, so what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna make a, a string and we'll call it line array and uh, let's see or you know what we can store it yeah, in a in a vector. So we'll say uh, vector string line vector. Okay. So instead of oh, we'll still print it, uh, uh, but hmm, yeah. So we'll say that line vector dot pushback. and we'll push back that new line okay so we have uh, we have them stored and now it's just a matter of fact of putting it into the temp um, content and stuff and removing certain things from it so it, in fact we don't even really have to um, yeah in fact we don't even have to make that, uh, that line vector we can we can erase this okay so for our new line, uh, our new line, we just need to remove uh, need to remove any spaces and and that um, other opening square brace. Uh, so what we want to do is we'll say that new line. Uh, how are we gonna erase it? Okay. So what we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna include algorithm include algorithm. Okay, and we're going to uh, now we'll make a, a char uh, a remove. We'll call it remove, and we'll set it equal to um, let's see this uh, space and that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that uh, new line. Is equal to new line dot erase, or actually, actually, don't even need to do that. Uh, we'll just put new line dot erase, and we'll put std remove. 
uh, and we're gonna move from new line dot begin uh, new line dot end and we're gonna move our, our remove and we're gonna go till uh, new line dot end and I know you can't really see that end right there so I'll put it like this okay so what that should do is that it should remove um, this the stuff from our line so let's see if everything uh, works according to plan right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change uh, I'm going to go right here and I'm gonna change this so I'm gonna say load equals and I'm gonna put image and uh, let's see if that works accordingly uh, so Let's run this program. Okay, so we got some errors uh, in the algorithm, I believe. Okay, I, I just changed it to a single char. Um, I didn't. I'm not sure if you can put in multiple charts. I wouldn't know if you'd be able to put it in like this. Not really sure. Uh, but when I put in a single character and I ran it, uh, it ran smoothly. So. Uh, let's try to run this just so I can show you that I'm not lying uh, and we got image in there now if you want to remove um, any uh, trailing spaces or anything like that then uh, this is how you do so so it's really easy to do it uh, all we got to do is just say a new line uh, dot erase um, new line dot find last not of and um we should we should uh have a string of items that hmm, we'll add right here uh race i guess and we'll say it's equal to um space um slash t slash n slash r um, anything anything that you um, wanna uh, yeah um, keep and uh, we'll put in the race in there and I think we would put plus one I'm not really sure uh, but let's test this out to see what we get see if we are done we did it properly so we still should get the same uh, image in there uh, so uh, yeah so we know that that works correctly so that is so now it's just a matter of adding it um, of adding it to what we need to add it so we're gonna say that if type is equals to load type and if you guys are using um, code blocks you guys might get an error uh, simply because they'll just say put attributes instead of load type attributes um, I'm getting an error right now and even Visual C++ for doing this but I don't know I'm just used to it uh, so if the type of a equals uh, content and uh, temp content dot size is greater than zero then we're gonna add attributes dot pushback we're gonna add temp attributes to this And we're gonna add our contents dot pushback. So we're gonna put this. Uh, we're gonna add the temp contents to this. Okay. So um. So so after when we but in order to do this, sorry, we gotta take this. And we gotta put this outside here, outside this um, while loop. Okay, so once we find the new line, uh, what we gotta do is uh, we have to find out the type itself. Um, if our type is equal to low type attributes, uh, then we add it to that. So temp attributes dot pushback. Uh, we push back the new line else then we do temp contents dot push back new line okay simple enough 
uh so then we add all that stuff in and it should be uh, everything should be correct uh so i'm going to add a breakpoint here just to see if they add everything um correctly as we're supposed to uh we have our image uh but we didn't have a content but yeah, everything should be loaded um, um, precisely. So let, let me edit the text file just to make it uh, a little better. So I'll say splash image one, splash image two, and splash image three. And we're gonna go back to our program. Uh, so, doesn't look like things are added in properly uh, so let me pause this for a quick second oh well, yeah it, it does run correctly uh, so everything seems to be running smoothly uh, I never changed anything everything's all right so I'm just gonna end that tutorial here uh, sorry if I confused any of you guys but in the next tutorial it should become more clear on what um, what is really really going on so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and bye